welcome back here in this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to make the custom or user defined drag and drop list in microsoft excel first of all let's understand what is drag and drop list suppose that here in this cell i am writing months and in the next cell i will write january after writing january i don't need to type other months here i can simply go here in the field handle then drag and drop till the month of December here. So here you see from January to December is created. This is called the drag and drop list. Similarly in the next cell I am writing days. And in the next cell I am typing Sunday or SUN Sun. Now I can go here in the field handle then drag this till the uh, day of Saturday. So this is the drag and drop list in Excel. And here we are going to learn how to make user defined list like if you want to create a drag and drop list for your employees or for the items you sell. In that case you can create for example here I am writing Jack. This is my employee name and if I go here in the fill handle then drag it down here you can see all the remaining employee name are given here. And when the name gets finished then it will again repeat the first one so you have to take care the end of your name then leave the fill handle and here you can see the employee name is generated here the employee name list is generated because I have already added this to my drag and drop list so to create this kind of drag and drop list in Excel you have to go to the file tab then go to more then select options and here in the Excel options dialog box, go to the advanced that is given here, then scroll it down till the end. And here you will have an option that is edit custom list. So click on this edit custom list. Here you can see the list that are already added here. And this is my employee list which I have already added. If I delete this list, click OK then click OK now I am not able to create this uh, employee list by using the drag and drop if I type here Jack then if I go here in the field handle then it doesn't populate the remaining name of the employee because I have deleted this list from the Excel's memory so to create this kind of list go to file tab more options then go to advanced scroll down till the end then here go to the edit custom list and to add the list here you have two ways one you can simply go here in the list entries then type it manually like you can type jack then give a comma then type the next name of employee that is olivia then give a comma the next one is emma so in this way you can type here but if you have this list already prepared somewhere in your excel sheet then you can simply import it by clicking on the add these names will be added here and to import it from the list here I am deleting this one and to import it from the list you have to click on this import list from bar then you can go to the list which is given here I have already prepared my employee name list here simply select the name list then click on this import now here you see the list is imported click OK now again click OK and here your custom list is already created now if you type here Jack then you can simply go here in the fill handle then drag the name of the employees if you start from the name that is at the middle of it like if I start here from James then I will get the name from James if you see the name is given till Jack here here you see the Jack is given after Elena so you can generate the list from anywhere you can put the last name also here if you type here Elena then if you go here in the fill handle then you can see 
the list will be generated in this way so this is the way of adding the custom or user defined list in microsoft excel and you can practice adding the custom list by downloading this practice workbook file from the video description below here i have another list for my items these are television refrigerator microwave and so on practice adding this item list to the custom drag and drop list so thank you very much for watching this video if you like the content please give me thumbs up by tapping on the like button below and also consider subscribing the channel to get similar kind of videos in future thank you very much for watching we will meet on next video tutorial